Oh, welcome to Apex Comics. I have three Southern unboxings. Two from Montgomery, Alabama. One from Marietta, Georgia. Well, let's see what's inside. All three, one at a time, shall we? Yes. Thanks for the comments from the last video. I please, more and more comments on each and every video. I much appreciate it. I, I welcome your thoughts and, and what you have to say and it's very important very important to me it really is it feels like I'll get to know each and every one of you better if you comment below each video so so appreciate yes folks <sighs> I don't wanna dox myself I don't wanna dox myself no no god <sighs> okay, Teen Titans. Wow, I'm 24, man. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. I've seen this. I, I've seen this book in the early 70s at a newsstand. I never picked it up, but I finally did. It's a... What is this? Ski Patrol guy just takes out the entire Teen Titans? Boy, what a badass. Skis of death, yeah, I'd say. Whew. That's extreme. Alright, let's get to the next box. Uh, I... We have clouds in these boxes. I love how they did this, quality comics. If I can afford to, I'll get boxes printed that says Apex Comics, but it's going to take some time and money. And I have to generate some income first. I gotta build my Patreon. If you guys built your Patreon, just let me know in the comments below how how you guys do it. And I keep forgetting passwords, that's a pain in the butt. I normally write them down somewhere safe, but yeah, you misplace it, you know where you, <laughs> you put them. Like, oh, I keep up my passwords. Oh, it's a, no, oh, don't want to dox myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, the next one we got. Oh, hell yeah. yeah dox Savage, Man of Bronze. Issue 8. This, I believe this is the final issue. This werewolf story. Looks cool, I think. Yeah, it's Rich Buckler, Claus Jansen cover. Beautiful, isn't it? I think it is. All right. And uh, last but not least, I think it's from Mary Georgia, 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 Mary Georgia. I like the Georgians, uh, Southern. There's a Southern unboxing. Have some respect there, son. Mm. God, I hope I didn't cut myself. Up. Oh man, this is like a box with another box and another box. It's one of those damn things. Is there a reason why they did that? Oh, figure it out. Oh man. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this is like opening comic coffins. If there is such a thing as a comic book coffin. That's a great idea. Hey, Brian K. Vaughn. What's <laughs> your coffin comics? I'm sure you'll come up with a comic book coffin for your lady death. Looks ah, oh, stop giving me ideas, Apex. Stop it. Uh, oh wait, uh, <laughs> wait. Whoa, I got two. Wait, oh shit. Okay, yeah, Fantastic Four. I thought this would be issue sixty of the old series. This is the new. Oh, it's okay. It's only no wonder it's damn cheap with the two. I get, um, oh, get this out. Yeah, this is an old, a coverless comic of a rawhead kid. I want to, I want to develop a wraparound uh, cover to cover this book. It's one of my little passion projects. Yeah, we've seen those before in my previous videos, right? This is a Mike Wieringo. I had a Mike Wieringo autograph. He's passed away from the flash. Insane. Oh yeah, man. This is a Claus Jansen inked work. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna take a look at this. Oh. 
I know somehow I bought a slab in the past, I think. I, I don't know if I've opened it yet. It's one of my many box unboxings I've yet to do. I'll, fi I'll figure this out. I'll take a look at this. We've got a little time on our hands. All right. I think, I think, uh, Salvi Seaman drew it. Yeah, he did. And then Sal Trapini. I've seen Sal Trapini a lot in the 70s for inks. I might have to Google this guy or Duck Duck Go search. <laughs> Entered the Headman. Oh, is this the first appearance of the Headman? People who switch heads or something. Is this, is this what this is? Oh. That's yeah, a bit faded, but you know, it's dead. Oh, of course, huge. Those kids jumping rope. Uh, the head man. Where's the head man? I'm trying to recollect the uh, defenders. I still has some of the older ones. I'm glad I kept. And yeah, those guys, the head man. And you got a Sean doing a mystic. Who's this guy? That's crazy. Anyway, it looks like a really cool book. So, then again, there's these other ones. Oh, I'm curious what did artwork on this. I think Nick Carney may have done it. I'm not sure Neil Adams drew some of the Teen Titans. Oh, I think. Yeah, oh, Gil Kane. Oh, hell yeah. That's some old Gil Kane work, man. Skis of Death. And Nick Carney inked. Hell yeah. <laughs> We got a Gil Kane treat. Oh, sweet. I'm glad I opened it. You guys will love it. Oh, more Gil Kane reference. Look at all this. Beautiful layouts. Oh, we got. Oh, we got that here. Oh. I'm digging this. Ah, skis of death. So, Kid Flash skiing. <laughs> Super speed skiing. I've never seen that before. And. This is really cool. Um, wow. Oh, the ledge. Oh, yeah. How about that? Oh, some dynamic figures. Punch the skier up. Ooh. Takes all that to oh, there's a whole gang of skiers. Okay, not just one. I hope there's more than one for our team. Just oh, it's kicking their asses. Good job, guys. Look at that. Uh oh, someone hold a kid hostage. Oh, going to the kid flash saving them. And that looks really cool. Oh. Should I open Doc Savage? Why not? We've got a little time. I think it's going to be a uh, Ross Andrew Mike Capacito joint. <laughs> it's really oh, um, oh, Rich Buckler and Tom Palmer. Nice Jack Abel inks. Oh, good. nice. This is cool. Wow. I'm enjoying this stuff. Werewolf. Werewolf's Lair. Got a few of these Doc Savages, but this looks really cool. Yeah, George Perez worked under Rich Buckler in the early 70s before he got on to Creatures on the Loose. And there's a White Tiger. And then some other, yeah, a couple other times. And of course, Avengers. Uh, what was it, 140 or 141? I can't remember where he first appeared in George Perez. I think maybe 141. I may be mistaken. But yeah, Doc, man. Let's get some maze. Really cool. All strategy and tactics. What are you talking about? There's some. This is the old style werewolf from the 1940s. Of the Long Cheney style. Until the howling came about and I started drawing werewolves with huge ears. The 1980 howling. One of the best werewolf movies, in my opinion. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Wow. 
Ah, Rich Buckler. You guys are very dynamic. a bit of Kirby and I'm thinking a little bit of Neil Adams thrown together but basically his own style Rawr. the werewolf pow punch out the werewolf ah, anyway guys this looks really cool um it's great some Kirby you get Kid Colt you got a I look through this. Oh, I did. Oh, Ringo's Raiders. Dick Ayers, of course. One of the best Western artists. He could draw horses, cowboys, all that stuff. Guns. He's very fast, I heard, back in the day. He loved doing Westerns. Really, really cool. Ah. All right. What have I not opened? Oh, the Mike Waringo. In tribute to Mike Waringo, we're going to open this one. Yeah. Oh man, look how stylistic that is. <laughs> Sorry, the pages are a bit shiny. I... Damn it! Why do they have to be so shiny? Oh, this is great inside out. Yeah, I'm not show too much of this. Too darn shiny. Use print. That's what you got. Print on newsprint for filming things like this. You don't want the glare. So, anyone, please like and subscribe. We build for notifications, all that good, fun stuff that you that you do. Have a great, great uh, afternoon, evening. Um, yes, I have the Apex Comics Collector Box available. You get seven various comics. Plus one signed color print, plus one side black and white print. One ash can zine, uh, be different ones for each package, and a bonus mystery gift for $30 free shipping. Uh, look, check out my uh, descriptions in, of this video and check it out, folks. Uh, be under my PayPal address too, so please check it out. In the meantime, have a great day. Uh, check out Apex After Dark this coming Saturday slash Sunday at midnight. Ah, uh, yes, as of this recording. All right, ciao for now.